Hello friends, here are 77 Stardew Valley Pro tips in 7 minutes. If any of these tips are new to you, you are obliged to like and subscribe. Let's go! If you pick up an item that sells for less than 500 gold, its icon in the bottom left will have the usual tan coloured background. But if you pick up an item that sells for more than 500 gold, its icon will have a purple background. You can push a filled up chest around by spamming left click. You can angle your fish casts by holding down a movement key. There is a very handy option in the menus you can check that shows you how many of each item you've crafted and how many you can craft with the resources you have on hand. You can take a screenshot of entire areas using this button in the menu. You can then use this screenshot to look for bubble spots, artifact spots and forageables without having to run around the whole area. You can also do this in the mines to check the level for mineral nodes or ladders. You can upload your save file to the Stardew predictor and it will tell you a bunch of handy info such as when the crane game hog will be at the movie so you can avoid him and ensure you get to use the machine. Speaking of which you can get movie posters, statues, Junimo plushies, plants, and other cool decorative items from the crane game. You can click on the traveling merchant's big old pig to elicit glorious oink noises. You can also click on the desert trader's big old camel. You can put Robin to work on her day off Tuesday if you talk to her as she walks by her counter at roughly 9.40 a.m. and 7.50 p.m. Famous painter Lupini sells a total of nine paintings on winter night market evenings rotating over a three-year schedule. You can plant trees at the train station which is great for wood or tapper farms. You can also plant trees in the desert. You can put chests all over the place. Mining chests and fishing chests are especially helpful. Be careful though because if you leave something in the path of an NPC, their enormously chunky thighs will utterly destroy it. You can fill up the road, tunnel, backwoods and quarry with kegs or other machines without fear of destructive NPCs as they never go to those places. You can buy deluxe speed grow from the desert oasis for 80 gold on Thursdays. Pierre doesn't sell it until year 2 and he sells it for 150 gold. If you plant crops that take 13 days to grow like starfruit on day 1 of the season and use deluxe speed grow, you'll be able to get a triple harvest with the third harvest falling on the last day of the season. If you don't want trees on the farm to propagate by fleeing seeds everywhere, place path tiles down. Trees that aren't on the farm will not propagate. No path tiles needed. You can put Mayor Lewis's beautiful purple shorts in the big old stew and the people will love it. When you pass out without making it home, you lose 10% of your current gold up to a maximum of 1000 gold. But if you have no gold in your bags, 10% of zero is zero, so passing out with an empty wallet is a great way to get a free trip home. You can pass out early rather than walking home like a slow nerd by using all your energy and then using a tool repeatedly until complete exhaustion. If you level up overnight you'll awake with 100% energy even if you didn't make it to bed the night before. This mechanic is especially handy in the early game. If you don't have the artisan perk, iridium quality truffles will actually sell for more than truffle oil. Starfruit seeds cost 400 gold and starfruit wine sells for 3150 gold if you've got the artisan perk. That's almost an 800% return on investment. Selling iridium bars is a great gold making strategy. If you have the blacksmith perk they sell for 1500 gold each. And unlike crops which require space and time to grow, collecting iridium ore is only limited by your ability to descend into the skull caverns. You can decorate the sewers and you can grow crops in garden pots down here too. You can put clothes in a wardrobe including boots and rings. Your speed boosts from coffee and food affect your horse's speed too. Bugs and grubs in the mines have a 1 in 200 chance of dropping an ancient seed. Whenever you put a crop other than ancient fruit in a seed maker, there's a 1 in 200 chance you'll get an ancient seed. And there's a 1 in 50 chance you'll get 1 to 4 mixed seeds. Besides those outlying possibilities, you'll just get 1 to 3 seeds of whatever crop you placed in the seed maker. Collecting yield from crab pots grants 5 fishing experience. Because you can't obtain bait or crab pots without leveling fishing up to 3, you might think it's impossible to level fishing without using a rod. You can however get the wild bait recipe from Linus at 4 hearts of friendship and obtain 3 crab pots by completing the crab pot bundle with fish collected from beach foraging and killing crabs in the mines. Therefore you can level fishing from 0 to 10 without using your fishing rod at all by collecting 3000 items from crab pots. You run 10% faster on path tiles. It's convenient to leave chests full of loved gifts lying around. You can get a blue chicken after this event, triggered by entering Shane's home when you have 8 hearts of friendship with him. If you buy a chicken from money after this, there's a 1 in 4 chance it'll be blue. And you can tell it's blue by checking this text. Just cancel the purchases until you get one. If you want your house interior to look good, just place 3000 plants. You can decorate the basement too. I recommend 3000 plants. You can fish up a decorative trash can out of the fountain. Click on this corner of the title screen banner and you'll break off this smiley face. Put it in the R's hole and you will cause parrots to flee. 
Leaving cheap crops to die at the change of seasons is a great way to keep all your spots tilled and watered into the first day of the next season. For example, you can plant a whole lot of parsnips on spring 28. Spring onions are not affected by foraging's gatherer perk. No double spring onions for you. Harvesting salmon berries or blackberries from bushes gives no experience. Perfect catches give 2.4 times the fishing experience, so try to be perfect. Bubble spots increase fish bite rate by four times. Bubble spots also increase the overall fish quality that will bite. This includes lowering the chance to catch trash. You can put a hat on your horse. You can put a hat on the alien scarecrow. You can put hats on your children. I have two children in real life and I can confirm you can indeed put hats on them IRL too. You can put hats on sea urchins in fish tanks. You can buy farm warp totems with key coins at the casino. These are ridiculously handy. Gamble for a bit and you might be able to buy hundreds. You can buy the magic cowboy hat and magic turban from the desert trader for 333 omni geodes each. The best way to farm omni geodes is to kill ghosts in the skull caverns. Ideally while Mr. Key's skull caverns invasion special order is active, wearing both monster musk and a burglar's ring. You're not limited to stones, you can use a bunch of different items in your slingshot and they each deal different damage numbers. There are eight trash cans around town and you can search each of them once a day. Your luck affects the likelihood you'll get an item from them. So try remember to check these on lucky days. You can set up a nice little production area in your barns and coops to maximize your use of space. Bombing mineral nodes and gem nodes still gives you the mining experience. The rocks on the farm give one mining experience each, so you can get to level one mining without going to the mines. But these logs on the farm don't give you any foraging experience. If you're playing on a computer, hold shift and click to buy things five at a time. Hold shift plus control and click to buy things 25 at a time. There is a one in 100,000 chance of getting a living hat when you chop a weed. With those odds, you can understand why I have no footage of me getting one. The most friendship points you can get in one go is 960 if you give an iridium quality loved gift to someone on their birthday. That's almost four hearts in an instant. All right, that's enough. Now go check out my 100 days series. It's a banger. Cheers.